Hi, Caleb at Bubble Bee Industries. I'd like to show how to mount our wind bubble correctly on your lavalier mic in the best way possible. And I've chosen white so that you can see it the best. When these come in the package, they're fresh, they're new, they haven't been used before, so it can be a little finicky to get the microphone fitted correctly inside the wind bubble. Um, but it's not impossible. These two tabs on the back, these are designed to find the entry points. So in between the tabs, that's where the hole is. And you're not going to pull on the tabs to open it. You're going to rather use your thumb and forefinger and your second finger on the top on the edge of the entry point and then slot the microphone capsule in from the side and push it in. Now once it's all the way in, then retract it a couple of millimeters. And the reason we do this is so that on the inside of the wind bubble, there's a space of dead air, like a bubble of dead air around the capsule. And that's the little magic source that makes it work really well. If it's bunched up against the mesh, the mesh will transfer that wind energy to the mic capsule. So that's definitely a big no-no. Okay, so we're outside now and there's a fair breeze. Um, and you're probably hearing me in my body mic right now, but on uh, my chest mic. But I'll swap over to this one so you can hear what it sounds like when it's naked in this breeze. And I'm hearing a little bit of wind noise. So uh, yeah, we probably need the wind bubble. Let's see what that sounds like. And I'm going to fit it incorrectly first. So pushing it all the way up to the grid on the, in the mesh on the inside of the wind bubble. And there it is. That's fitted actually incorrectly all the way up to the mesh on the inside of the wind bubble. It will sound better than before. But when the gusts come up, there's still a bit of wind interference. Now I'm going to pull it back just a fraction. Just a couple of millimeters to give it some space on the inside of the wind bubble. And it's a much different experience. Still a breeze. But there's no noise at all, except from the path passing traffic. And I'll take it off, just so you can hear what it sounds like naked again. And there you've got it naked. I hope that proves useful. Let's get inside, it's a bit cold. And I'll show you how to take it out of the wind bubble correctly. And it's a pretty easy technique. You put your finger on the top, just to give it a little nudge towards the bottom and then tilt it exactly as you tilted it in, you tilt it back out and that brings the, any caps or anything up with it. Sometimes um, when you get a new wind wobble they can be a little difficult to mount on your mic the first couple of times. We've got a really cool technique just to loosen them up a bit. It's a ballpoint pen um, with a tapering end, obviously with a nib retracted so it's not going to damage the inside and then find your opening and just Pop that on the pen and make sure that you build up your confidence that way first before mounting your mic capsule, which after which is quite easy. You just slot it in like that. So I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or need any further assistance, please head over to our website, bubblebeeindustries.com, and you can contact us directly via email on support at bubblebeeindustries.com. Have a windy day.